Now we're gonna go over how to set up voice match. So your Google Assistant on any of your home products will recognize your voice and be able to give you personal information. So like when you ask it for your calendar information, it'll pop up with your events for the day and everything else and not someone else who lives in the home. Um, so to do this, we're gonna go ahead and open the Google Home app. And we're gonna jump into our Google Assistant settings by tapping on the user in the top right. Once we do that, we're going to tap on Assistant Settings. Once we're in Assistant Settings, we're going to go to the Assistant tab. And once we're in the Assistant tab, we're going to go down to Voice Match. Once here, you can see these are all your voice match kind of options that you have. Um, the first option here is to teach your assistant voice um, in the first place, or if you've already um, gone through and does and done this, you can go here and retrain your um, voice. So if Google's like not recognizing it, your voice um, very accurately or anything, you can go ahead and retrain it, and that usually fixes some problems. Um, you can also invite others, uh, home members, um, from here, there's also an easier way to do this, but that's what that is. Um, and then down at the bottom, it shows you all of the devices that your voice match profile is tied to. So you can go ahead and either remove certain devices if you only want some devices to have your voice match profile and get you personal information by recognizing your voice. And if you want others that you don't want them to do that with, you can go ahead and kind of pick and choose um, which devices throughout your home have access to that information. You can also add devices here as well. So if you're not seeing a device on this list that you think should be there, go ahead and click add device and it is gonna pull up all of the speakers in your home and then you can go ahead and select the ones you want and just click continue. Um, and it'll set up voice match on all of those different devices there. So that's pretty easy to do. But we're gonna go ahead and retrain our voice here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap teach your assistant your voice. And mine's already been set up, so we're gonna tap retrain, but it's gonna be the same process for you if you haven't already set it up before. So it's gonna ask us to say a bunch of phrases here. So, okay Google, play my workout playlist. Okay Google, where is the nearest post office? Hey Google, remind me to buy flowers. Hey Google, what time is the sunrise? There we go, and now we just hit next. And you should be good to go. Now you do want to make sure you do this in a pretty quiet environment so it will recognize your voice on the best and there's not a lot of loud noising noise or distractions in the background um, that way it can get the best voice match profile for you um, but again this is a good way if you live in a home with multiple people where you can go and set up voice match for yourself and other people who might want to use some of these features that way when you ask it for information about your calendar or you tell it to call someone if you've set up phone calling with it it knows um, to search your contacts for the correct person and not search someone else's contacts or search someone else's calendar or what have you um, so this is really kind of a nice feature to set up um, especially if you live in a home with multiple people that are using the nest home devices so that's how you go and set up voice match for your Google Assistant. I hope that helps.